Cut. No, sir, it's Google Pizza. Oh, sorry, I must have dialed the wrong number. No, sir, Google bought Pizza Hut last month. Okay, I'd like to order a pizza then. Do you want your usual? My usual? Do you know me? According to our database, the last 12 times you called, you ordered an extra large pizza with three cheeses, sausage pepperoni mushrooms and meatballs on a thick crust. Super! Yeah, that's what I want. May I suggest that this time you order a vegetarian pizza with sun-dried tomatoes on a whole wheat gluten-free crust? Shit, no. I don't want a vegetarian pizza. It sucks. It's too healthy. Your cholesterol is no good. How in the hell did you know that? We cross-referenced your home phone number with your medical records. We have the results of your blood tests for the last seven years. Well, either way, I don't want your goddamn vegetarian pizza. I take medication for the cholesterol problem. Excuse me, sir, but you have not taken your medication regularly. According to our database, you purchased only a box of 30 tablets once at Superfarm Pharmacy for months ago. I bought more from another pharmacy. That doesn't show on your credit card statement. Well, I paid in cash, that's why. But you did not withdraw enough cash according to your bank statement. Jesus Christ, I have other sources of money. That doesn't show on your latest tax returns unless you bought them using an undeclared income source, which is illegal. What the hell? Somehow you have my tax records? This is nuts! I'm sorry, sir. We use such information only with the sole intention of helping you. I'm sick and tired of Google and Twitter and WhatsApp and all that shit. I'm going to a desert island where I have to deal with any of that shit. I understand, but you need to renew your passport first. It expired six weeks ago. How in the hell did you know about my passport being expired? I was going to renew it. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with our country? Well... Hay una batalla que es una batalla que ya hemos perdido y es la batalla de la privacidad. Toda la información que recogen de nosotros máquinas y que registran nuestra actividad en Internet, nuestros hábitos, nuestras compras, nuestros movimientos e incluso lo que hablamos en la privacidad de nuestras casas está siendo registrado, etiquetado, almacenado y procesado para ofrecernos básicamente más publicidad. Ahora, hay algo que sí depende de nosotros y es la información que nosotros damos de nosotros mismos. ¿Eres consciente de que cuando subes una foto, esa foto se ha quedado en internet y tú has perdido el control de ella? ¿Eres consciente de que cuando grabas un vídeo o escribes un comentario has perdido el control de ese comentario? Lo único que depende de nosotros es ser cautos y hacernos responsables de cada cosa que decimos. Quizás no sea necesario dar tanta información de nosotros mismos en redes sociales. Piensa lo siguiente. Lo que estoy subiendo a Internet se podría utilizar en mi contra. Si la respuesta es sí, entonces mejor no lo subas.